this rain is getting so old. We have one little tiny section under the boat that doesn't get wet, but it's flooding. said they're gonna pass by the boatyard so we're going over to the end of the seawall to say hi they're pretty wicked i think i see them how about this weather huh hey. Hey, it's warm. you guys made it <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys remember how Billy was cutting out giant holes in the boat and you guys told us to make a hatch out of it. So the very front area of our cabin where the, that old water tank was is going to be this one. The giant gaping hole in the guest hole that we just redid is going to be this one. And then we have a couple more random holes in the boat that we're going to cover up with this one. So, final coat going on these guys now, then I'm gonna go head on over to the boat and finish sanding the fairing compound so we can get a coat of primer on. boatyard this morning we're just gonna make a little pit stop and see if our friends wicked salty are still here they were right around the corner from us for a day or two we got to hang out a little bit and then uh, saw them real quick a couple times see if they're still around see you guys safe travels good luck with the boat work thank you bye Lola bye. <laughs> see you guys thanks for having me over those guys are awesome. Hopefully we catch them down in the Bahamas. Back to the boat yard. It's been a little over two weeks now. I thought we'd get out in two weeks, but it's looking like about three weeks and a few days we'll be in here and then we'll definitely be out. Always takes longer than you think. Even when you have experience and you know it's gonna take longer than you think. We could have gotten out earlier. We're just kind of waiting on like the machine shop and some things like that here and there, but it's probably a good thing we're taking a little more time because in between I'm making sure everything is just going real smooth and getting done properly and we're not really rushing too too much so how you doing I just got my second coat of primer on our bare sanded and fair area. We have to wait three hours and do it again. And then tomorrow we can officially paint the bottom. Making moves. Getting there. So these are what we've been calling pins. These are what holds the cross beam on to the front of each hull. And it's mounted, like on this hull. This is mounted from the inside against the wall of the hull and the pin sticks through the deck like that. Actually like yeah like that. And then there's holes in the cross beam. So the cross beam sits on the pin in its cradle right here. And then we bolt it on. And there's also a compression tube inside the cross beam. So like a big diameter tube around here inside the cross beam so that when we bolt this and tighten it down, it doesn't try to crush the crossbeam. 
This is what we're going to be installing soon, coming up. Oh, you are? Bye! Bye. <laughs> That's our friend Stuart. His boat is getting put back in right now. You can see through our neighbors. Stuart was very nice. He gave us his ladder before he left. There she goes. Yesterday started out like any other I took a stroll in the park That's when I had it It took a while before I figured it out This is the device we're gonna use in order to mark it so we know where to drill the hole in our brand new cross beam so we don't mess it up. supposed to reach in there and dot the cross beam but I can't see where I have to dot oh, I put it in the wrong way my markers over here there's not enough room in here to turn it around No idea if I actually got it on the spot that it needed to be on, but we'll have to yell out of our hole and see if Billy can look at it. I got it. Yes, thank you. On to the next. Rabbit hole. Hi, can I help you this time? The comfort between the sheets and the pillow beneath my head. And just like that, I took a look on my nightstand to see what time it was. A flashing light bus from my phone. And she said, You wanna hang They're just marked with a sharpie approximately where that pin is gonna come out and where we have to drill through the beam. We're only gonna drill one side, the bottom first, and then mock it up and see where the top is. And we're gonna do a little more measuring to make sure we're pretty accurate where that bottom hole is. Artwork number one. Artwork number two, this one was harder. Something was in the way. What's up, you guys? Thanks so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope it was a lot easier to watch than it was to do. We're pretty close to real time in these videos, but we still, we're all back on the water, obviously, but we have a lot of projects going on still in real time. We got a nice little break um, from boat work and from the yard and everything, and we got to go down to the Miami Boat Show this past weekend, and we wanted to say thank you so much to everyone that stopped by, went out of their way to say hi to us, tell us their story, tell us, like, everything. Everyone was so nice, and it was so nice to put faces to all the comments that we get, so... Thank you everyone, and especially Highfield for giving us a little spot to meet everyone. I also want to give a huge shout out to the Mobleys, Holland's Mobley, I know you're watching, Carter and Doris, just shout out, thank you guys. Also, we got a little announcement. So we just want to give you guys a super quick sneak preview of what's coming in the Tula shop. We told you we're gonna do something exciting with the Adrenaline's old sales and 
We got some samples in, so they're coming soon. Stay tuned. Pretty pumped about this. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you next time. She has a weird but cute smile on her face. And I scratched my head and stared her dead in the eye while I said, Dave. Nah, I was thinking more like Fred or something. We laughed and took a sip out of our drinks.